Hi, I'm Izzy and I'm the school nurse. Um, today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about our health services area of our Head Start Early Head Start program. Here at Head Start, our health team consists of a health manager, health supervisor, health coordinator, um, registered dietitian, a nutrition specialist, school nurses, and special service coordinators. Now when most people think of school readiness, they think of toileting and teeth brushing, um, which is something that we do help educate children and families on. But health is also a very important component of school readiness. Children need to be healthy to learn. Um, so here at Head Start, we aim to provide high quality health services that will help each child grow. As a Head Start program, we are required to ensure that children are up to date with their well child care. So we do ask parents to provide current documentation for yearly vaccines or well baby checks at their scheduled intervals, dental exams every six months, immunization and shot records, also encouraging that children get their yearly flu vaccine, and also lead and hemoglobin results. So to assist you with some of these, we do offer head lead and hemoglobin clinics here at the mall. Um, we can do scheduled um, appointments or scheduled walk-in days. We also can bus the children from the classroom here to the lab with parent permission. We do this um, because lead prevention is an important component of health and school readiness. Um, in fact, no blood level is a good blood level for children. Um, children under the age of six are more prone to lead poisoning as they're always sticking their hands and objects in their mouths. Um, and any level of lead in the blood can lead or can affect the child's IQ, their attention span, and their academic achievement. Um, we also provide a mobile dentist. We work with Miracle Dental to provide on-site dental exams, which can consist of uh, cleaning, fluoride application, and x-rays. Um, this is for children without a dental home or even people who just want to use the mobile services, and the child's insurance will be billed for this exam. We also provide health screenings in the classrooms. Um, I personally go and do hearing and vision screenings in the classrooms. Um, we do these early to help identify possible problems so that the child can receive any necessary treatment. Um, we also teach self-help skills. Um, children learn to wash their hands properly, um, proper etiquette for coughing and sneezing, um, teeth brushing and toileting. In regard to teeth brushing in the classroom, we do have children brush their teeth before or after breakfast and lunch. Um, and we also send supplies like toothbrushes and toothpaste home to the families to continue to encourage that in the home. During COVID times, we were unable to brush teeth in the classroom, but we did still supply families with toothbrushes and toothpaste in the home to continue to encourage teeth brushing after meals. In regard to toileting, Head Start does accept children who are not toilet trained. Um, we work with families to support the child's training. Pull ups, diapers, and wipes are provided to the classrooms and we make a plan with the families to develop a um, or to assess their readiness and implement consistency between school and home so that the child isn't going back and forth toilet training at the school and not in the home. Um, overall we just strive to provide a safe and healthy learning experience for our children whether they are in the classroom, on the bus, or in the playground. Um, our staff does complete daily health checks of the room and of each individual child, and they are also CPR and first aid trained. As for our parents and guardians, uh, during the year we do offer opportunities for you to learn about health and safety topics such as nutrition, um, dental hygiene, or childhood illnesses, etc. And there also is a health advisory committee that parents can participate in to express their concerns or opinions and it's also with a group of professionals and volunteers that will be on that committee with you. And that's just a little bit about health.